Yeah, I know that the journey for you in terms of your own diagnosis, your bipolar diagnosis, uh, was certainly not a smooth one. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, like most people with bipolar disorder, I was misdiagnosed. Um, and in that case, misdiagnosis is the rule, not the exception. Uh, for 10 years, for most people, it takes eight to 10 years to get a proper diagnosis. And for 10 years, I was misdiagnosed with unipolar depression. The reason that's such a big problem isn't just because, oh, these are labels, right? Like, I don't care too much about the labels, but I do care if misdiagnosing me leads to mismedicating me and giving me medication that could exacerbate my condition. And that's what happens when you misdiagnose bipolar disorder as unipolar depression. You can end up giving antidepressants without a mood stabilizer, for example, which in many people with bipolar disorder could push them into a manic episode and make things even worse. Mm. So tell me, you know, in terms of the way that you experienced uh, and you experienced bipolar disorder, I mean, what was the sort of mania like for you? What, what does that feel like? How does that manifest? Um, well, for everybody, I'll say it's different. For men, sometimes they exhibit more anger. For women, more euphoria. And for depending on your culture, I mean, it's just it's very different how it exhibits. But I will say, like a sense of euphoria that to me turned into paranoia. I believed I was a prophet. I thought I could fly. Um, I was doing things that were very impulsive. I was speak. I speak very fast anyway. Um, but I talk about. I mean, this is kind of fast. My parents always are telling me to try and slow down. But I'm not manic right now. When I'm manic, you can barely follow what I'm saying. Um, and you, I also have sort of these flights of ideas where these ideas connect in my brain, but not really to the other people on the outside, but they connect so well to me. Uh, so I'm not making proper transitions. And it can be very dangerous with the delusions because eventually, I mean, for people in manic episodes, you associate depression and suicide. But suicide is also possible with mania. For example, I thought I could fly. So we lived on the 20th floor of an apartment complex. Had I gone on the balcony and jumped off and had my husband not called the police when he did, then I could have killed myself unintentionally, obviously, that way, because I genuinely believed I could fly, for example. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine. And people, the thing is, people must um, have asked you or looked at you several times, friends, colleagues, and sort of said that, no, you can't, that can't possibly be right. I mean, like, you know, look at you, you're so accomplished, you have a husband, you've got a beautiful home, that can't be, you can't have bipolar. I mean, if you experience that sort of disbelief. Yeah, yeah, thank you for saying that, because what bothers me so much is when I was diagnosed, when I was hospitalized, uh, I have to write the memoir. I had to go over my medical records over and over in my medical records at one of the hospitals. They had written patient has delusions that she's a lawyer and an author. They could have Googled me. They could have asked my family. Both of these things were true. I was accomplished. I was functional. Um, and towards the end, they crossed off. It said patient believes she is a lawyer and author. And they crossed off the leaves and released me shortly thereafter because I'd been threatening to sue them the whole time I was there. But Basically, I think what happens is we lower expectations for people with mental illnesses, whether it's depression or bipolar or even schizophrenia. And it's important to me to say that we are capable of extraordinary things. There is treatment. We can accomplish so many things. If only we knew it, if only the stigma weren't there, if only we weren't afraid and ashamed to seek help, mm. uh, we would be able to accomplish so much more. Because honestly, there's something extraordinary about a mind that works differently, whether it's because you have bipolar or depression or schizophrenia, or even autism, or dyslexia, or whatever it is that makes your mind work differently. It means that you will have problems for sure that other people don't have. But that also means that you'll be able to see solutions in places where other people can't see them. Right. Uh, and I don't think we need to dismiss that outright. I think there's value in that.